<laughs> Hi everybody, and welcome to your favorite online vlogging program, a, a picnic. It's me, Dom, your host uh, and your friend. We're here to talk about Hero. These questions are all about Hero, the short film. Hero that I made. Hero. Ronnie wants to know, did you refrain from showing a lot of fight scenes to humanize the hero more? Um, sort of. Wasn't really on purpose. I think a part of what you're seeing is that it's not a giant movie, so we couldn't do maybe the biggest uh, fight scenes that, even if I wanted to, I couldn't really do them. Um, and also, yeah, it, just, it, can, it wasn't what the movie was about. It always, like from the beginning, it wasn't about the fight moments. It was kind of, it was always the aftermath. It was always he's scared, and now he has to talk to people. So I took everything people love about superheroes, and I got rid of it. Zachary wants to know, what are, here, what are the hero's powers? Flight, super strength, durability, yes. Sean says, I've got two. What was your budget, and what did your script look like, especially with all the fourth wall breaks? I don't want to tell you the budget. And the script, so ba this was something that got solved very early, because I think I finished like the first draft, and it was... I clarified when he was talking to the camera, I think it was in parentheses in, in the dialogue, it would say like, to us, or and then back to Violet, or whatever. And then that got confusing, and it also was taking up too much space to always have to clarify, like, oh, he looks to us. So then I just, uh, I made everything blue that he says in, like, in the fourth wall breaks. So it looked like this. I'm gonna put it over my face. And yeah, and then it just said a thing on the title page, it, it specified, like, fourth wall breaks in blue. Connor says, did anything particularly inspire you to have part of the story be told in intermittent flashbacks? Um, sort of. <laughs> this is another thing where, like, you're seeing a, a symptom of something else that we were trying to solve, which is, like, I, I think inherently, it's, again, I do this a lot in my shorts, and it's not always the best thing, but I'm trying to tell what should and could be a longer arc, like a full feature-length movie arc in, you know, 11 minutes. So, with the flashbacks, that, that was, it was a tool. It was sort of, um to efficiently make you care about certain relationships, or at least just give you an insight so that you, you know, I was just backing myself up. It was like, here's how, here's what this is, and now here's a little bit of proof. Matthew says, were there any elements specifically about Hero that you felt made him unique and your own? And I think basically it was, I think just the idea itself of that he's scared. Because I was realizing, um, and it, I think it was why I ended up not being able to just forget about Hero and why I kept coming back to it as an idea that I was interested in was, I don't, I haven't seen that, I haven't seen where the conflict inside of him is not like, oh, it's, you know, I'm not living my own life and this, this, this is a responsibility and it's such a burden and that's typically like what it is or like who am I to make these decisions for people and it's like kind of the hero position usually and in this I just wanted it to be like, I just scared and he bit off more than he can chew. It's a lot of, I mean, you know, I'll get into that. I have another question coming up where I'll, I'll answer, I'll talk more about that. Stay tuned. Rachel says, You've written, directed, and starred in a lot of your films. Does it become more difficult when it's on a bigger scale like this? I think in this one, it, ma it was a little harder because I cared more about the performance of being of doing the hero role. I I was more I was more worried about not doing that well because I'm doing more jobs. It kind of means that other people have to too. So then Matt, who's shooting it, has to sort of direct sometimes. I need to look to him and say. I don't know what I'm doing, can you, or like, you know, I don't know what it's coming <laughs> off as, can you direct me? Fiona says, how did you discover or come up with that insecure, vulnerable, scared side of Hero and that you portray in the short? What Hero kind of became accidentally, and this was, again, it's I think why I couldn't let go of it and why it still mattered in my head, was that it became the thing of like biting off more than you can chew or declaring that you're a kind of person. So, so I mean, that's for me, it's, very, just, it's a personal thing and that's why I, I still identified with it was like, I don't know, you stick, you dig your heels in, you say, I'm this guy, I do this. And this is what I want to be good at. And then like, that's kind of easy when maybe you're not being challenged, when when you just say that and then everybody says, yes, absolutely, or you're good at it. And you know, there's no, there's no conflict. But then maybe down the line, someone shows up who's like psychotically positive about what they do, or they're threatening you, or they're making you have to defend who you've told everybody you are, and then maybe you can, and maybe maybe you live up to it, or maybe you start to question bits about what you thought, and uh, sometimes maybe you're learning something you didn't really like want to learn about yourself, but ultimately you gotta grow and you figure it out. I don't really know what where that was birthed from. I think it might have just been the idea that I knew 
going in, I wanted it to be that he talks to the camera. And I think because of that, because just going into it, it was like, oh, it's intimate. It's just him sharing with you. This kind, that kind of thing just came out of it. Cause how could it not, in a respect? Like, I don't, it didn't seem like it made sense to me to have something where he's like sharing everything. But if what he's sharing isn't somehow subverting what you would think a superhero would be thinking, then what's the, what's the point of doing it that way? Andrew says, how is the costume in terms of comfort, dude slice? I can't decide whether it would be like wearing super comfy pajamas or like wearing super uncomfy not pajamas. It was fine. It was all, it was made out of all regular clothes, really. Every piece of it, like what got uncomfortable, it's like the shirt was just a shirt, the pants were just work pants. It was, that didn't really feel weird. And what got scary was that all, it was so burnt everywhere and it was so crunchy and crackly. And we only had one of them. It's like we had a different, like there wasn't like a good version of the suit that it looks really nice and then one where I can move around and it was all the same one. So it was sort of like, as I'm even just standing up out of a chair, we lost some pieces around the house for sure. Jared says, how did you get to work with Newform? Did they contact you or vice versa? And what was your reasoning behind rebooting instead of making a direct sequel? Uh, Newform, I was set up with, with Jack Howard, I think, because he had done a short, actually a bunch of the English dudes had, had done shorts with Newform. And then yeah, just got introduced. I pitched them a couple ideas and they gravitated towards Hero. And then I, it was kind of the same time I was realizing how, like that I cared more about Hero and that there was like a bigger, a bigger better idea in it. And then that, that went on for about a year. Yeah, it was 2015, I started talking to them. And then I didn't, we didn't like say, yes, we're doing this hero thing until 2016, summer of 2016. Yeah, wow. And then shooting it was, we shot November, it was done in January, it was, in, it was crazy. And yeah, for, for the rebooting, it, be, it just was like, I, I didn't feel like I did the story as well as it could have been. I still don't, I mean, this is, this is also a stepping stone to something else, hopefully. But um, yeah, I just wanted to try it again and do it a little bit better and, and kind of infuse what it was becoming in my head and how much more I was identifying with it. Andrew says, what scene was the most fun to shoot? I guess the most, fun, more of a moment, it wasn't even a full scene, but I think when we were up on the roof and the wind was blowing and stuff and it was just one shot, it was kind of easy and we had the like, we had the light being run towards me for the fire gag, like, uh, it just felt very, oh yeah, cool, we're doing like a superhero thing. And the actual Manhattan skyline was was behind us. And also the, where, when Jacob, who plays Max, did the, we did the flashback scene where he says like, you're the superhero. I, every single take of that, I laughed. Cause it was so out of, like it was the very, it was the very first thing we shot as well. And he just like, sh he just brought it loudly and it, was killing me. Ed says, will we ever see Hero stop a chainsaw with his butt cheeks? If the time was right, and if it mattered for his character and growth. Absolutely. <laughs> and he also says, did you write the flashbacks into the script in the same sequence that they were presented, or did you decide when editing what to show at what times? It was a little bit of both. For the most part, everything was exactly as it played out. Like even down to the little blips were, were written at that moment. It would just say like a flash to hero punching and we don't know what he's punching yet. I think the only time I really switched up what we saw when was um, some of the bridge stuff, but yeah, it was both, it was a little bit of both. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully I answered some of the questions you, you might've had when you were watching it. Um, and so share the movie. Uh, the, the whole the whole reason of making it is that it's it's kind of being made as a proof of concept sort of thing. And it was, it was important to me that it worked as its own short and you could just watch that and have the full experience and that be the end of it. But we are trying to maybe make something bigger with it. Maybe a series, maybe a, an actual movie. So if that's something you want to see, share the heck out of it and go watch the other Incubator shorts because there's a bunch of stuff in there that I also really, really like and I would love to see more of. So yeah, thanks New Form. Thank you for watching. And thanks Amber for holding the phone. <laughs> Start shaking it. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing, Cootie? Hello.